Have you ever considered how unrealistic redstone is? I mean, this one block gives out unlimited power. That is crazy. But it's probably for the best because today I figured out how to make redstone realistic entirely in vanilla Minecraft. This will make you realize just how lucky we are. So let's sit back in Minecraft. It feels very good to be back here on my creative testing world. I have realized just the sheer power of this one block. I mean, if you think about it, this one block, it can lift up an anvil forever. That's how much power is in this one block. And it even works with a torch as well. And even a lever as well. I mean, I've not even considered how just overpowered this is. This is crazy. I mean, it's certainly not how it works in the real world. Because in the real world, we've got basically the electric grid. And we'll just say that that is our block of redstone because there's a lot of power being generated. And then basically this redstone, which is essentially the wires that go to people's houses. And then if you imagine that repeater leads directly into someone's house. And then, for instance, this is the lights in your house. You then flick the lever or flick the light switch. It then turns on because you've got power from the grid. But if you destroy that, then you've got no power. And that's genuinely what I really want to just try out today. I want to see if we can try and generate power realistically in Minecraft instead of just using this. Now, there is only one redstone block which is actually realistic, and it's the daylight sensor. Because it's basically just a solar panel, which of course we have in the real world. And because it's daytime, this is of course getting powered, which means we can essentially then do what we do in the real world, which is just put it straight into a battery. And so this is basically going to be our electric grid. So there's our daylight sensor, and then we have a comparator, which is basically reading that. And in fact, we'll just have it straight into a repeater like that. And you can actually make a battery in Minecraft really, really easily just by using comparator comparators and you'll see that that's all lit up now and then if we switch it tonight you'll see that this is going to stay lit up that looks really cool with vibrant visuals we're of course on bedrock edition but look at that and then this is going to slowly get darker and darker and then it turns off but you can see that there was a lot of power left in the system even though the sun is no longer there it's now the moon and then of course when it's back today it then powers up again which is really cool and so I'm basically thinking we have a lot of comparators. I'm talking a lot of comparators. I mean, I'm really, I am not the best with redstone. I know some very, very basic things. I just find it very fun to try and come up with ideas and basically just mess around. But this is basically how a battery is in the real world, where you've got loads of little cells which basically just hold the power. And then this will basically get charged up in the day. And then at night time, it will then start to deplete. And I think we'll do one more set of comparators just to really... I have no idea how long this will last for. Probably not even a minute. And so to help us keep track of what's working, I'm going to play some torches, some lamps rather, down there. And then let's change this to nighttime. You can see this is going to start to then run out. And you know what? Whilst we're here, I'm just going to play some lamps on this side as well. And so this one's going to run out first. You can see it's really starting to get dark. And then that's it now out. And then it's going to move to this one. And it's actually lasting a lot longer than I thought, which is really good. And so I think we're looking at around 20 seconds per sort of i think we're just going to call it power cell i'm not exactly sure but what's good about this design is we can then start to stack it and so then out the back i'm basically going to place probably another repeater like that which then runs into a block as well which could probably just go up kind of like this with some redstone on top of that as well and then we just basically have another layer of comparators and so place some more repeaters like that which can then go straight into some redstone dust and then yeah straight into our comparators and then to link them all back together i'm basically going to place some repeaters like that and so then this final one here is going to stay on for the longest time so let's get some lamps down again and then change it to night time and now this is really this is going to last for quite a while and i'm just going to quickly take this time to thank the channel members as well supporting me directly it really does mean so much as well and it's great seeing the two month badge now for some people you even get a special role on the discord as well it really does help a lot so thank you if you want to support me directly you can and thank you as well for getting the channel to 35,000 subscribers i mean that is just mind-boggling as well so thank you very very much but we are right now just approaching the one minute mark and you can see that the entire first layer is done and so i think to make this even better well then i think we'll extend this out even further this way and have one more layer and i think that will be one minute per layer basically something like that we're around one minute and 20 seconds and this is still going that is really cool and then that is it out at 1 minute and 30 seconds. I am so glad that redstone works the way it actually works. So we'll just quickly place in some more redstone like this and then add in that final layer like I was talking about on this side. And so now it should be a case of 1 minute per layer like that. So that's 2 minutes of power like that. Which is, if a Minecraft, I believe the night time is around, is it 10 minutes long? We basically need 5 times this, which is, that is crazy. 
And so looking at this now, I think we're going to have to remove all of these glowstone blocks just so we can then go up one more layer. And I think as well, we'll place some blocks there, which we can basically use just to carry the signal upwards. And then we can just keep extending our power bank all the way up to the sky. This is crazy. And so we can start getting in our comparators like that. I think we may have to make these top comparator banks slightly shorter. In fact, we can just bring them out one block from behind because I'm trying to keep this as compact as possible, even though, I mean, it is massive. But we have something like that. And then again, just around the back, we can have probably more repeaters that basically go this way, I think is probably the best way to do it. I'm not exactly sure. Place blocks like that. And then, yeah, we have a repeater which runs into the side like this. Because we basically want this to snake all the way along and then all the way along and then all the way along like that. And then we can basically just do exactly the same thing like we did the layer below, which is just placing some blocks like this. And then we can just take up another layer. And I think this should work as I'm anticipating. I hope so, at least. And you know what? Before we properly test this out, I want to quickly just rework how it's basically put together. And I'm basically going to do that very, very simply. Look at that. That's a big clock. Okay. But I'm basically going to have more repeaters following that zigzag pattern, kind of like this. And then this backside is really going to start to change now. And then on this side, we'll then have repeaters coming out. And so it's basically going to wrap. It's basically going to be exactly what we've got here, but on that other side. And then basically just go up and then power everything on this layer above. I think this is going to be the best way to do it. And it will hopefully keep things running for quite a while. And then we basically just do exactly the same on the other side. And so now that's perfect timing. The sun is setting. I think this is basically our full battery. And I think this should be four minutes in total. I'm not exactly sure. But what we'll do to make it look a lot nicer is we'll get some redstone lines coming out and then basically have some lamps here as well, just so we can track the progress of everything. And then we can see how much power is in our battery. That looks really cool. And of course, like I said, the sun is setting. We'll just quickly help it out just a little bit. And this should last, if this is one minute, this should last four minutes in total. We just need one more layer on top and then two of these. And then that would be us lasting the entire night. But you can see one cell, is, two cells have already started going. And so that is the entire bottom row now completely out. And oh, okay, that's not meant to be like that. Man, I'm so bad with redstone. You can see this is still powered. I've just kind of messed up how it's getting lit up, which is quite silly of me but you can see we are still on the second layer despite the fact that these are not lit the comparators actually are which means we still have power in our system and i will say again this looks really cool with vibrant visuals just how bright everything is but this one is just about to go and then it's going to move on to the final part of the third row but we are now on the top layer and it's looking like my calculations are correct this is around it's going to be around four minutes which is perfect and there we go that is the final light out which means we can then start basically turning this into our power grid. So I'm going to remove all of the lights and then I've just quickly added in the final layer. And so I'm going to run a repeater out of here. And this is basically our output. The daylight sensor being our input, it then works its way the entire system. So this is around half the night. And then we can basically just take this power and essentially take it straight to our base and then power anything for half the night. We need another one of these in order to make it the entire night. But for now, we're just going to keep it as it is. And so now that we've got it down here, I'm basically going to run some red sun along like that. And then we can have a block with a repeater like that. And then this will basically lead off into one house. And then who knows? So maybe this could run off into a street or maybe a shop rather. And we'll instead have it something like that with a sticky piston right there and a block on said sticky piston. And then if we make a really ugly little house, I'm talking really ugly. I mean, look at this. And then we have a lamp right in the ceiling. We can then have our probably right there. That could be our light switch, which can then just power that piston, which we can then just have it work its way up the side of the house like this, which then powers the light. And so when we turn that off, then the light goes off and it's basically using all of our energy from the grid. So then if the power grid then goes out, we have no light exactly how it is in the real world. We can then do exactly the same thing right here. And it looks like these guys' houses, they are really, yeah, the they're quite ugly and again it's exactly the same for this new house where we've got lights that we can turn on and off but when it turns night you can see the battery and it's going to start slowly ticking away so you've got light at night for five minutes so we're going to turn on the lights like that but if the grid goes out and look at that again do you see the glow because of vibrant visuals that's so cool but when the battery is fully drained which of course this is only half the night there'll be no lights in the house which is exactly how it is in the real world thank goodness that redstone does not work like this in minecraft how lucky are we that this 
is all we need for lights. That is ridiculous. If you've got any other suggestions, please let me know down below or in the Discord. You're more than welcome to join. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it.